you ever wondered how a man of humble beginnings could rise to become one of the greatest military tacticians and rulers in history, only to fall from grace in a spectacular fashion? Today, we unravel the enigma that is Napoleon Bonaparte, a man who, in the face of adversity, climbed the ladder of power, only to tumble down, leaving a legacy that continues to echo through the ages. This is the captivating tale of Napoleon Bonaparte. Born on the 15th of August, 1769, in Corsica, a small island in the Mediterranean, Napoleon Bonaparte's beginnings were considerably humble. His parents, Carlo Maria di Bonaparte and Maria Letizia Ramolino, were not wealthy or influential. Carlo was a lawyer struggling to make ends meet, while Maria was a strong-willed woman who would eventually mother 13 children, with Napoleon being the second born. The Bonaparte family lived in a modest house in the town of Ajaccio, where the rhythm of life was dictated by the ebb and flow of the sea. Napoleon's childhood was spent in the narrow alleys of the town, among the hustle and bustle of Corsican life, where local customs, traditions, and the Corsican language were deeply ingrained in him. At the age of nine, Napoleon was sent to mainland France to receive formal education. He enrolled in a religious school in Autun before moving to a military academy in Brienne-le-Chateau. It was a challenging transition for the young boy. He had to grapple with a new language, French, which he initially struggled with. He also had to adapt to a starkly different culture and deal with the biting cold of the French winters, a far cry from the warmth of his Mediterranean homeland. Despite these hardships, Napoleon displayed an unyielding spirit. He was a diligent student, particularly excelling in mathematics and history. He was captivated by the exploits of great military leaders of the past, often spending hours immersed in their stories. It was his fascination with these historical figures that kindled his own aspirations of military glory. Napoleon's humble beginnings were marked by struggle and hardship, but these experiences also shaped his resilience, determination, and ambition. His early years in Corsica and France sowed the seeds of the exceptional leader he was destined to become. Little did anyone know that this young boy would grow up to shake the world. Napoleon's journey from a modest artillery officer to the Emperor of France was nothing short of extraordinary. Born to humble beginnings, Napoleon Bonaparte quickly distinguished himself through his military prowess. His rise through the ranks was rapid, driven by his ability to think strategically, to innovate, and to inspire those under his command. As an artillery officer, Napoleon showcased his tactical genius in the Siege of Toulon, where his innovative use of cannons helped to expel the British forces. His performance didn't go unnoticed. At the age of just 24, he was promoted to Brigadier General, marking the beginning of his meteoric rise. Napoleon's military career was marked by his ability to adapt and innovate. He broke from traditional warfare, introducing what's now known as the Napoleonic Code, this was a revolutionary system of laws that prioritized merit over birthright, a concept that shook the very foundations of the European aristocracy. But it wasn't just his military strategies that set him apart. Napoleon was a master of diplomacy and political maneuvering. He knew how to seize opportunities, how to rally public sentiment in his favor, and how to consolidate power. In the chaotic aftermath of the French Revolution, he staged a coup and established himself as the first consul of France. This was a turning point in his career, marking his transition from military leader to political ruler. And yet, Napoleon's ambition didn't stop there. In 1804, he crowned himself Emperor of France, cementing his place at the pinnacle of power. This was a man who had climbed from the ranks of an ordinary artillery officer to emperor, a feat that speaks volumes about his leadership, his ambition, and his strategic acumen. Napoleon's rise was not just about military victories or political coups. It was about a man who dared to challenge the status quo, who dared to think differently, and who dared to dream big. Napoleon's military genius and political acumen propelled him to the pinnacle of power. His story serves as a testament to the power of ambition, innovation, and strategic thinking. Once in power, Napoleon embarked on a series of reforms that would forever change France. Having risen through the ranks with a combination of cunning, ambition, and undeniable military prowess, 
Napoleon Bonaparte found himself at the helm of a nation still reeling from the tumultuous years of the French Revolution. And yet, it was a nation ready for change, ready for the firm hand of a leader who could steer it towards stability and prosperity. Napoleon's rule was characterized by a series of sweeping reforms that touched virtually every aspect of French society. The Napoleonic Code, perhaps his most enduring legacy, was a comprehensive legal system that replaced the complex, inconsistent laws of the ancient regime. This code, based on principles of equality before the law and the protection of civil liberties, became the bedrock of French law and influenced legal systems across the globe. But Napoleon's reforms extended far beyond the legal sphere. He restructured the education system, establishing a series of state-run schools that prioritized the sciences and military training. He revitalized the French economy, introducing efficient tax collection methods, stabilizing the French franc, and promoting industry and infrastructure projects. He also reformed the church-state relationship, signing the Concordat of 1801 with the papacy that recognized Catholicism as the majority religion of France, but maintained state control over the church. On the international stage, Napoleon's reign was marked by an aggressive expansionist policy. He sought to consolidate French influence across Europe, waging a series of wars known as the Napoleonic Wars that saw him conquer vast territories and install his relatives and loyalists as rulers of various European states. This reshaped the political landscape of Europe, leading to the rise of nationalism and the redrawing of national boundaries. Yet, Napoleon's rule was not without controversy. His autocratic style of governance and his relentless pursuit of power alienated many. His disregard for the democratic principles of the revolution and his decision to crown himself emperor in 1804 drew criticism from those who saw him as betraying the ideals of liberty, equality, and fraternity. His wars of conquest resulted in massive loss of life and economic hardship, and his efforts to impose French culture and institutions on the conquered territories often bred resentment. Despite these controversies, there is no denying that Napoleon's reign brought profound changes to France and Europe. His reforms laid the foundations for modern France, his military campaigns reshaped the map of Europe, and his life and rule continue to fascinate historians and the public alike. Napoleon's reign left an indelible mark on France and Europe. His influence extended beyond his lifetime and his legacy, contentious as it may be, remains a pivotal chapter in the annals of history. The story of Napoleon Bonaparte is not just the story of a remarkable individual, but also the story of a nation and a continent in flux, grappling with the forces of revolution, empire, and modernity. However, even the mightiest of rulers have their downfall and Napoleon was no exception. As invincible as he seemed, Napoleon Bonaparte's star began to wane with his ill-fated Russian campaign in 1812. The campaign intended to force Tsar Alexander I back into the fold of the continental system was a disastrous misstep. Napoleon's Grand Army, once a formidable force of over half a million men, was decimated by the harsh Russian winter, starvation, and relentless guerrilla warfare. Napoleon, the man who seemed to have the world at his feet, was dealt his first major blow. Yet it wasn't just the Russian winter that froze the ambitions of Napoleon. His own hubris, his insatiable hunger for power and control, started to gnaw at the foundations of his empire. The rulers of Europe, once cowed by his military prowess, began to rally against him. The once invincible Napoleon was starting to look very vulnerable indeed. But the final nail in the coffin of Napoleon's empire was his exile to Elba in 1814. Following his abdication as emperor, Napoleon was banished to this tiny island off the coast of Italy. But the ever-defiant Napoleon was not to be kept down for long. In a daring move, he escaped from Elba, returned to France, and reclaimed his throne in a period known as the Hundred Days. However, his return to power was short-lived. At the Battle of Waterloo in 1815, Napoleon faced off against the Seventh Coalition, led by the Duke of Wellington. Despite his tactical brilliance, Napoleon was defeated, marking the end of the Napoleonic era. The man who had once been the master of Europe was finally beaten. He was exiled again, this time to the remote island of St. Helena in the South Atlantic, far from the power and glory he had once known. It's a bitter irony that Napoleon, 
a man who had once held sway over the destiny of Europe, ended his days in such a remote and desolate place. The man who had once been an emperor, a conqueror, a lawgiver, was reduced to a mere prisoner. His empire, his dreams of glory, were shattered. His dream of a united Europe under French hegemony was left in ruins. Yet even in defeat, Napoleon remained a figure of fascination and controversy. His downfall was a dramatic end to a remarkable life, a life that would continue to captivate historians and history buffs alike for centuries to come. His life, his rise, and his downfall serve as a reminder of the fleeting nature of power and the dangers of overreaching ambition. The man who once ruled Europe found himself exiled on a remote island, his dreams of empire in ruins. Despite his downfall, Napoleon's impact on history remains significant. There's no denying that Napoleon Bonaparte, this man of modest Corsican birth, etched his name permanently into the annals of history, leaving a legacy that reverberates to this day. Let's start with his military legacy. Napoleon undoubtedly was a master tactician and strategist. His innovative reforms, such as the divisional square, mass conscription, and the comprehensive use of artillery, transformed warfare. The shadow of his military genius looms large over the battlefields of the modern world, influencing military thinking and strategies even two centuries later. But Napoleon's footprint extends beyond just the battlefield. He was, after all, a political leader as much as a military commander. Let's not forget the Napoleonic Code, a comprehensive set of civil laws he introduced, which forms the foundation of many legal systems around the world today. This code, which emphasized clarity, equality before the law, and the abolition of feudal privileges, largely shaped the modern legal landscape. Furthermore, Napoleon's administrative reforms, including a centralized bureaucracy, public education, and a merit-based system, were groundbreaking. These reforms offered a blueprint for modern governance and are evident in many aspects of contemporary societies. Napoleon also had a profound influence on nationalism. His conquests and the subsequent spread of French revolutionary ideals ignited nationalist sentiments across Europe, leading to the creation of nation-states and shaping the geopolitical map as we know it today. In conclusion, Napoleon Bonaparte's legacy is complex and far-reaching. He was a military genius, a legal reformer, an administrative innovator, and a catalyst for nationalism. His influence stretches beyond the confines of his era, seeping into the fabric of contemporary society. Napoleon Bonaparte, a man of humble beginnings, rose to the heights of power, fell from grace, but left an indelible mark on history. His legacy, both celebrated and controversial, continues to be a topic of discussion and study, reminding us of the impact one man can have on the course of history. So what can we learn from Napoleon's dramatic rise and fall? Napoleon Bonaparte, a name that resonates through the echo chamber of history, is not merely a historical figure, but an embodiment of ambition, success, downfall, and legacy. His life, marked by a series of extraordinary events, offers a rich tapestry of lessons and insights. From his humble beginnings, we learn that one's origin does not dictate one's destiny. Born in Corsica to a family of minor nobility, Napoleon's rise to power was far from preordained. Yet, his relentless drive and strategic acumen propelled him through the ranks of the French military and into the annals of history. His story is a testament to the transformative power of determination and strategic thinking. The reign of Napoleon, marked by a dazzling array of military triumphs and sweeping reforms, underscores the dual nature of power. On one hand, Napoleon used his authority to modernize France, implementing a host of legal and administrative changes that continue to shape the country today. On the other hand, his relentless pursuit of territorial expansion plunged Europe into a series of destructive wars, revealing the destructive potential of unchecked ambition. And then there's the downfall, the defeat at Waterloo, the exile to St. Helena. These moments serve as stark reminders of the transient nature of power and the perils of overreach. Napoleon, once the master of Europe, found himself at the mercy of the very forces he had once commanded. His fall from grace underscores a timeless truth. That power, no matter how absolute, is never invulnerable. Finally, we come to Napoleon's legacy. Despite the controversy that surrounds his name, there's no denying the indelible impact he left on France and the world at large. 
His legal and administrative reforms continue to influence modern governance, and his military strategies are still studied in war colleges around the globe. Whether loved or loathed, Napoleon's influence is undeniable, his legacy enduring. In sum, the life of Napoleon Bonaparte is a fascinating study in contrasts, a tale of humble beginnings and meteoric rise, of power wielded and power lost, of enduring legacy and controversial reputation. It is a story that challenges us to reflect on the nature of ambition, the allure of power, and the price of overreach. Napoleon Bonaparte, a figure of paradox, a symbol of ambition, a testament to the fleeting nature of power, will forever remain etched in the annals of history.